What's up, YouTubians? This is Zachimus Prime, aka Zachimus Prime, bringing you another Transformers third party review. Um, today we're going to be reviewing, courtesy of Titan One Toys, the Mix Fans Toys Huge Dragon, which is actually not all that huge. I mean, for a Legend Scale figure, it's pretty massive, I'll be honest. But, you know. In terms of actual size, he's he's a little bit smaller than maybe he's a bit smaller than a later class figure. Anyhow, huge dragon. This is the uh, this is their take on uh, Omega Supreme. Um, it's kind of interesting. Mix Fans Toys is uh, is real famous for being uh, in their their KO company. They make they make a lot of KOs. I've actually reviewed a few of their KOs. Um, and then they're like, uh, oh, you know what, we're going to make, we're going to make our own figure too. So, so now this is two figures, Wei Zhang and two companies, Wei Zhang and, uh, Max Fans Toys that have gone full on third party after being primarily just knockoff companies. So Omega Supreme is, is, is changing the industry guys. One of the other nice things about this is that, um, this is a legend scale figure, so it's not like super massive. So I can actually review it quite nicely in my regular setup. Fantastic. Anyhow, but yeah, so this is uh, Omega Supreme doing the uh, Omega Supreme things. Um, I really wouldn't mind someday having like a Omega Supreme remix and a like garish. Uh, Late '80s colors that would be that would be legit. That would be legit. Um, in terms of accessories, he doesn't actually come with anything specifically. Now they do have um, that same company is also like KOing the crap out of uh, out of the um, Bondi's new Microman stuff, and so you've got some like guns for one of the Microman dudes and you can like they turn into arms somehow like that it's like a joint there and flip open this and pull out there's like a hand in there or whatnot and uh, comes with a couple little boxes that have got like some sort of mechanized stuff in there and I'm not even sure what all this is supposed to do or if it's even in a position to do anything. I don't know. My my understanding with um with the the Microman stuff is it's kind of like it's kind of like Mecha Lego and that like all of these bits like you can take them off and then you can reassemble them in however different kind of interesting various ways you you want. And then, you know, you can, you can have all sorts of cool stuff that you build, I guess. I don't know. It's like, it's got like, like the quote unquote, like official modes. And then you have all sorts of different other modes. I don't know. Every now and again, I think about getting into that, but, um, then I'm like, man, they're expensive for pricing. Anyhow, that came with a couple of little uh, sandwich bags just full of parts. Looks like a little missile launcher and little cannon things and little claw things. And this other gun has got like, like just little connecting tabs and like a knife thing, missile launcher. I don't know. I'll have to play with them at some point and see if, uh, if there's anything I can make of it. But yeah, so there's all those accessories. They really don't have anything to do with this figure here. But yeah, Omega Supreme. He uh, He's a legend scale. Here's my legends benchmark. And that's about how... That's about the relationship between, like, say... Um, the... The... Fans Toys, um, Terminus Giganticus, or maybe the the 
Unique Toys Gabriel. By the way, um, I reviewed Terminus Giganticus on this channel some months ago. Um, I also have access to a Gabriel, so if you guys want me to do a review for the for the Unique Toys Gabriel, drop me a line in the comments down there, down down there, and uh, and yeah, I'll be happy to do that too. So yeah, no real accessories with this guy specifically. Um, in terms of posability, his head moves about. Uh, his shoulders are in clicky joints. And his shoulders move out all the way. Um, they do disconnect. Um, and I think that's meant to be some sort of like modular function. Um, because in addition to doing all the regular stuff that Omega Supreme does, he also, you can like fan mode this thing like crazy, which is something that I actually kind of like about this. About 90 degrees of bend in the uh, elbow joint, both elbow joints here on this claw, all of his claws move, and then they've each got like a little articulated knuckle there. Um, the only thing I really kind of wish that this that this this hand had is some sort of a rotation but every time I think it might but it doesn't it doesn't have any kind of rotation it's a bit of a bummer um, he does come with a waist joint legs move forward that much backwards that much upper thigh swivel a little less than 90 degree bend I forgot to mention that he can do the full van down Damn. Less than 90 degrees there. Not a whole lot of ankle tilt either. He does have a toe bend. Goes up and goes down. Oh man, sounds like the lawnmower guy is trying to lawnmower the whole freaking house. Like not just the grass. Hey, keep it in the grass, buddy. All right. Anyhow. And that's uh, basically going to be it for this guy. He's got some nice little red paint apps on him, some gold paint apps down here, some tampo printing. His uh, face sculpts is uh, sculpty. He looks like he's upset. But I think Omega Supreme is supposed to look like he's always upset. He's like, Omega Supreme, unhappy. But yeah, with that, let's get him transformed up. So transformation on Omega Supreme is uh, like like most Omega Supremes, which is to say it is nothing but parts forming, to be fair. Disconnect these, disconnect those. If we pull open this chest here, this is actually kind of fun here. You pull open the chest and pull out the section here. And this is what turns into the little tank. I thought that was actually kind of kind of cute. First time, pulled it up, transformed it up, just like slapped it in there, and I was like, you know, that's kind of that's kind of fun in a little figure kind of way. Pull on this part here, open this up. Now to get everything into its proper base modes, um, what we're going to do is push this all the way back, rotate this like that, push, rotate. This whole section is going to disconnect. And there's a couple pegs that keep this all together. I'll point them out to you once I get it open. These pegs right here go into these holes, which are hard to see right there. Holes. I told you. Then I like to point these up here like they're some sort of like cannons or whatnot. Because um, they definitely have added in some uh, some detailing there. And so I think that they look like guns. I think that they're tr probably trying to be guns. There's a part right there. 
Oh no. There we go. Straighten these out. Oh hey, we've got some temple printing right there too. Nice. Nice. The yellow parts are going to go out, so we're going to put them on this way. And then the other one like that. that there nothing really connects but that is also not not a surprising thing when it comes to Omega Supreme ah my backdrop is doing crazy things today all right you've got these tab slot tab and slot arrange them together Stick the fingers out into a rockety, rockety little uh, thingamajig there. Stick that there and turn this back into a tank because it was a tank before. And that's going to be pretty much it right there. And in this base mode, it's, you know, pretty, uh, pretty Omega Supreme-ish kind of base. You know, it does, it does all the things that you'd expect an Omega Supreme to do. You know, you've got, you've got your base here, you've got your track that goes around, you've got your rock apart, and like, you know, it hits, it hits all the specifics, you know. Your little turret moves around, goes up and down. Um, it doesn't really grip onto the rail very specifically but you know eh, it does it it does it well enough that I mean you can pretend that it does the rocket you know it does rockety things it doesn't have a, like a real like extensive landing ramp it does have like this little tiny door panel that opens up there's like another little door like inside there so yeah that's kind of fun Um, the base itself has got like a couple little boxes that open up so you can have like, you know, guns coming out in case he's like shooting like spam things. I, I, I forgot to mention these in the, uh, in the, in the robot mode, um, in the robot mode, they'd be like shoulder, like shoulder launchers of, um, of, you know, missiles and stuff like that. And uh, the paint job on them is really nice. It's got this really, like, really nice deep red and uh, metallic, of course, um, and some gold paint apps. It's really, uh, it's really pretty good looking. Like, I mean, you wouldn't expect that this is made by, by a company that makes, you know, cheap, cheap knockoffs. So I think it's pretty nice. Um, it's definitely... It's definitely a must-have for anyone who's got um, a uh, you know that that's collecting legend scale figures. I know that. I don't know. I want to say that when I see people posting and bragging about their collections online, most of what I see is people doing the masterpiece scale, sometimes chug scale, um, and I don't see anybody who's like, "Oh my gosh, check out my super extensive legends class collection." Um, but I am, and, and maybe someday I will um, show you guys all of my <laughs> Legends class collection. By the way, in this mode, of course, scale goes completely out the issue, or the window. Because it's Transformers, we don't really worry about scale that much, right? I mean, we worry about scale when we feel like it, and not any other time. But I think that this figure is nice. Um, it's significantly cheaper than any of the big uh, Masterpiece ones. It's not a replacement for a Masterpiece one. You know, if you've got a Masterpiece collection and you need Omega Supreme for that, like, 
only, you know, a Gabriel or a Terminus Giganticus will do. Um, or I guess that, that Weijing, whatever, whatever it's called, whatever that one. Though, I haven't handled that Weijing one, though, from what I've seen, it's probably, uh, I would say it's probably the least awesome of the three. Um, having handled the Gabriel and handled the Terminus Gigantic, I can tell you straight up that Gabriel is definitely a better figure in pretty much every way. Um, this is a good figure for if you have got a Legend Scale um, the collection and you need an Omega Supreme for that, which I do, and I do. And uh, I tell you what, man, it's sure of a hell of a lot easier to play with than, um, you know, a Terminus Giganticus or a Gabriel that takes up like the entire freaking table or stands like, you know, a foot and a half tall or however, however tall they get. This is, this is much easier to play with. <laughs> and it's much more playable too. Like one of the issues that I was having um, with Gabriel, for example, I was playing with that just yesterday and uh, it's cool. But it's just, it's very, very large, and it's very, very difficult to, um, to, to get it transformed and to do all the stuff, you know, it's just, yeah. I mean, it's not, like, hard to, like, push the joints and whatnot, it's just, it's time-consuming because you have this thing, and it's really big and heavy, and, you know, when you're holding it, like, gosh, I was holding it by its leg, and, um, like, Part of it like adjusted real quick um and like my finger got caught like in between like the thigh and the like the like dick plate and um geez i thought i was gonna lose my finger i thought i was gonna have to go to the hospital and have it amputated it was crazy but um you don't have that issue with this it's smaller more portable like you can take this around and like have like omega supreme and take pictures of it in a bunch of different places whereas anytime you're doing something with one of the big masterpiece scale ones it's a production so anyhow i like this i think it looks great i think the scaffolding thing looks cool you can also these little sections right here there's a tab right in there so you can have like this like hook into let me see if i can fold these down flat enough to give myself the clearance yeah you can like attach it onto there um you can there's there's a few interesting looking like fan modes for it one where they like turn this into some sort of like a like a tripod um gun turret thing are they using this as like a big cannon? Stuff like that. There's just there's just fun things you can do with this. And actually, you know what? In terms of in terms of base modes, I think that turning into a gigantic cannon is actually cooler than turning into like uh, a, a, a a scaffolding of you know, questionable appearance and, you know, a rocket of similarly questionable appearance. Like a giant cannon, that's that's cooler, I think. Anyhow, stuff like that. Anyhow, everybody, thanks for watching this review. Um, that's uh, the, the Mech Fans Toys Huge Dragon. Um, I think it's great. I, don't, I, I guess I really can't say that I recommend for everyone. I recommend it for me for sure. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like it. You guys don't have to. Everybody, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you later.